So hi there, I'm Chris Monticelli. I'm the electric utility manager for the City of Westerville Electric Division. In case you don't know where the City of Westerville is, we are located in central Ohio. We're a suburb of Columbus uh, and we operate a public power utility. What does that mean exactly? Well, it means exactly what it sounds like. We're a, a distribution system that serves electricity to all our residents and businesses of Westerville, Ohio. So we're owned by the public. Rather than reporting to our shareholders, uh, we actually report to the city government in Westerville and that's a that's our uh, elected officials. So how is how is a public power community different from everyone else? So we're different because we're owned and operated by our, our city. So we report to city council. Uh, that gives us a lot of local control. It also is local ownership. Our customers own our system. So if they if they don't like how we operate or are doing business, uh, they can go to their city council members and, and ask for a change. It gives us a lot more flexibility in keeping our rates low. We're, we're typically more responsive. That means our outage times are less. Um, I know here in Westerville, when there's an outage, we have a truck rolling within minutes. Our business is located right in the, in the center of the city. And we typically have trucks on site within 10 to 15 minutes assessing whatever the issue might be. That keeps our outage response time much lower and which keeps our outage times in general lower. So where a typical outage might last several hours, we keep that down to minutes. And so that's one of the value propositions of having a local uh, government run your electric utility system. You might also ask it how prevalent are um, public power communities. Well, they're all across the state of Ohio. They're all across the country. Westerville is a part of American Municipal Power who's been a long committed resource to protecting the public power business model. AMP has over 135 members that operate in nine states. And AMP is a great resource for public power communities in that they allow us as small, small companies to do bigger things. So think about being able to build how expensive it is to build a power plant. Um, and AMP is what's called a joint action agency and brings all of our public power purchasing together, it allows us to do much, much bigger things. Along with that, they're very committed to offering energy resources, education to its customers, and, and helping protect the business model that is public power.